What is up guys, Delboy here. So the man George Groves finally becomes a world champion by defeating Fedor Chudinov by a sick round TKO in an excellent fight, I have to say. This fight, you know, stylistically was all right for George Groves, but at the same time it was all wrong for him. It was all right because Chudinov is there to be hit all night long, but it was all wrong because Chudinov applies very steady pressure behind that jab, he'll keep on throwing, he'll keep on trying, and Grove's stamina has been questioned. So if it went to the deep rounds, you know, this this fight would have been extremely, extremely hard. And I think we could see that the way it was playing out. But Grove's got the job done, and he impressed me because there was times where it got really, really tough, and, he, and he, he didn't fade, he didn't panic, he got cut, and I felt he looked, I felt he always looked, he looked more composed than he usually does. So credit to George Grove's. Um, in an excellent fight. Uh, let's just talk about the fight briefly. The first round, both men using their jab. Uh, both men are landing with a jab. Uh, Groves is landing some solid right-hand body shots and some hard right hands to the head. Chudnov actually lands a couple of solid rights too and does a good. Uh, he does some good work on the ropes, but it was a close round. He could have gave it either way. Round two, Chudnov is applying really good pressure and behind that high guard and jab. Groves is struggling to maintain his... Um, his shape in this round, I felt. Chudnov, you know, he was working Groves over on the rope. Groves was um, landing some good shots here and there. But I felt Chudnov done a, done a better job in round two. Um, round three, Chudnov is still applying hard pressure, but Groves is countering much better. He's landing some nice right hands to the head. And um, he was, he's varying that right hand too. And um, but, the, but the round ends well with, um, with Chudnov applying some good pressure. Round four, a really good round. Groves is landing some hard rights, but he also gets cut in this round. It looks like Groves stunned Chudnov in this fight and appeared to hurt him to the body. And um, Chudnov still had his moments in this round, but round four was a really good round for George Groves. Round five, Chudnov starts well, you know, with some steady pressure. And, you know, Groves timing, trying to time his shots much better in this round. He's picking those shots a little bit more uh, precisely. But the round ends well with both guys having a good exchange. Round 6, though, Groves comes out strong, lands some hard right hands, which appear to stun Chudinov. And Groves then jumps all over him and looking for that finish. And he got the job done. Was it a premature uh, a premature stoppage? I don't think so. He was getting hit r repeatedly by right hands. And he wasn't defending himself and he wasn't throwing back. And Groves, as we know, is a very hard puncher. So me personally, I didn't think it was a bad stoppage. You know, um, it was what it was. It was a really good fight. Trudinov had his moments, but I felt Groves was the... He, des he deserved to get that win there tonight. And he looked really good, I felt. Where, do where does he go from here? You know, there's a there's a unification fights with James DeGale. Um, the winner of Anthony Durrell versus Callum Smith. Good fight, bad fight. Um, Gilberto Ramirez. There's loads of fights out there for George Groves. I think the one we all want to see is the James DeGale rematch. That's what the UK crew want to see anyway. Um, that's a fight I'd love to see. You know, that fight would do a big stadium and the build-up would be immense again. And both guys have changed from their first fight, I feel, you know. So, so yeah, I think that, that's the fight to make. But what do you guys think? Uh, where does Groves go from here? What did you make of him? Was he as impressed as I was? Tell me what you guys think. Peace.